We Happy Few made kind of a splash at the Xbox press conference. It had a pretty big uh, chunk of the press conference dedicated to showing off uh, this cinematic bit for the game that made it seem like basically uh, the Brave New World uh, by way of Bioshock. Uh, which I think is still kind of an apt descriptor for the game. But there's a lot more to the game that you didn't get a chance to see at that press conference that I got a chance to play with uh, at the E3 2016 show floor. So in addition to all of that good, good Brave New World stuff where you're popping pills called Joy in order to forget the horrors of World War II, uh, uh, We Happy Few is uh, a very uh, surprisingly hardcore survival sim the towns that you explore are going to be procedurally generated, uh, which was the first surprising thing. The game is, for the most part, procedurally generated. Every time you play it, it's gonna be different. It has a roguelike format. If you die, you're gonna start over from the beginning again. Uh, and the goal of the demo that I played on the floor today was just to escape uh, from, from this society and the uh, sort of totalitarian regime uh, that was was trying to keep me keep me down. What's interesting about the game is it's all about resource management. So uh, you uh, get hungry, you get thirsty, uh, you can get sick, you can get food poisoning if you eat raw meat, for example. Uh, there's a lot of sort of don't starve style uh, uh, gauges that sort of measure your health. Uh, if you get too cold, maybe you get hypothermia, stuff like that. Uh, on top of all that, you have to kind of blend in with whatever society you're in. So if you're in a town of people who have uh, been sort of left on the outside uh, to, to starve, uh, you're probably gonna fit in just fine because that's kind of how you start out the game. If you make your way into a, a more upper crust society, uh, everybody's gonna expect you to be high off your ass on joy uh, and, and dress to the nines because if you're not, they're going to basically kill you on sight. It is a zero tolerance policy for fashion in We Happy Few. Of course, you can't just run around uh, popping pills the whole time uh, because taking joy is actually very bad for your health. Uh, it drains your, your hunger and thirst meters very, very quickly. So if you play the game just high the whole time, then you're going to die of starvation or of thirst. So you have to balance out the societal needs with the needs of your own body uh, while also exploring and uh, accomplishing objectives in a town that's different every single time that you play it. That is what I thought of We Happy Few here at E3 2016. You can stay tuned for the rest of our coverage here at Polygon.com, or you can check out all of our video coverage at youtube.com slash polygon.